Hello and welcome to this 101 lab. In this lab, we will talk about Shodan. Shodan is sometimes referred to as the hacker's Google. The main purpose of Shodan is to identify devices connected to the internet. Being a search engine, it will search for devices based on the query string input by the user. Shodan displays service banners to the user, which can contain information such as server software, service support, or anything else that the web or HTTP client can find out before interacting with the server. To get the most out of Shodan, it is recommended to first register to the service. Shodan has free and paid services, and for the purpose of this lab, we'll stick with the free one. The free service will still give us an API key, which can be used in some other OSINT tools. Navigate to Shodan by going to this address, and input the credentials of your choice. So we'll do that. First we start the browser, and then we go to this address. Now here you can input any username, password, and email you want, but if you plan on paying for Shodan, then it might be a good idea to use something legitimate rather than something that's a throwaway. Now input the credentials of your choice. It is always recommended to use a strong password with a minimum of eight characters, including at least one upper and lowercase letter, one number and special symbol such as punctuation or arithmetic. Now, follow through with the registration process, and once that is complete, log into Shodan. So we go to a different address. Pardon. In order to log in. We'll log in with our username and password. Well, for the purpose of my own security, I will not be sharing my username and password with anyone. So I will pause the video while I log into Shodan. Now, I've just noticed that uh, between the time when this PDF was made and the time when the video is being made, Shodan's interface slightly changed. Um, the login and register pages are the same, but the next page is slightly different. So uh, please bear with that. Now, Shodan can be a dangerous tool in the hands of a malicious actor. If nothing else, it constitutes privacy violation towards any individual whose device you might identify. For that reason, we will not be digging deeper into Shodan in this lab, but feel free to use it in properly sanctioned penetration testing engagements with a signed contract and a clearly laid out scope. For now, simply copy the Shodan API that should be located in the upper right section of the web page. Now, this is the difference that I mentioned because it should be in this section where my cursor is, uh, so the upper right section of the screen. However, it's no longer there. Instead, we click on account and you can see it right here. Now I will um, obscure my API key because API keys should never be shared with anyone and I will explain why in the next lab. That is it for now.